Yo, what up YouTube? Uh, wanted to come at you with a kind of an impromptu video again today uh, about my tire changer. So, and you know, how I change tires, how I, you know, save money and shit. So, and what modifications um, that I've done to this machine to make it, you know, work a lot better. So first things first is uh, the 3 8 anchors. I can remove this and move it around the shop anywhere, or the garage rather. You know, they don't stick out of the floor, so I can move this around and it's completely mobile. Um, next modification, instead of relying solely on this, you can get these off of uh, eBay. Just look up uh, Harbor Freight, like, uh, tire cone or wheel cone, aluminum cone, but that will center your wheel uh, on the machine and cinch it down without uh, marring your wheel. So that's great. I do still have this because it's good to use as a spacer with the other attachment that I have. I bought this duckbill attachment off of eBay. And I'm gonna see if I can you know, I get a screenshot of the web page for this thing, but uh, definitely works really well. And uh, I'm very glad I have it. It does have some limitations, but I'll go over that later. Uh, mainly, I guess I'll go over that now. Um, let's see if I can see. But yeah, like my eight inch rims here, eight inch wide, um, have a hard, time mounting 235 kendas because the kendas are like they're kind of like this this isn't a kenda but you know they balloon out over the rim um so i had to use the old method of the three irons to get the kenda mounted but anything else you know like i'm um, got a 255 on a nine and a half 245s on eights will work um but yeah so I don't know, a little bit more squared tire setups, it's a little bit harder harder to mount on, but this is definitely a time saver and a money saver. You know, I'm not wasting time at the track to change tires. I'm getting more seat time. Don't have to pay anybody to do it. Uh, it's just a win-win. So uh, we'll go over how, how this works. We're just gonna break the bead on the tire here. Now with it bolted into the floor, previously I had this anchor all the way at the bottom for the most amount of leverage because it wasn't, you know, stable. Now I have it in the middle, so I can use this breaker bar with my nine and a halfs. Uh, these are nine and a half inch wide, 18 inch rims with 255, 40 18s on them. Get the valve uh, core out. You know, these tires don't necessarily need to be changed. There's plenty of life left on these, but I am going to be going, I'm going to be going out to drift uh, in Pennsylvania for three days. So I want to have all of my tires mounted to be fresh. I'm going to save these for uh, a later date. And with, um, with this, you're going to kind of want to have this arm be able to be straight up and down. So you can kind of scoot that in a little bit as you push down and it'll be a little bit straighter. But you need to get to the inside here. Simple enough. Um, Once you get that broken, you can kind of just step on the rest of the tire. If you have a, you know, good shoes on anyways. So that side's broken. Now this size tire 
is super easy to mount. Um, so, Gotta move it in a bit. And I'm pushing down real good on this. So it's not gonna break the whole way around on this side for some reason. Okay, there, that broke. Now, should be able to just step on it. And there, your uh, bead is broken. And with these wide rims, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to work with. Just go ahead and put this on here. And you can see this is from all of the times I've mounted from uh, the tire irons. So definitely if you're doing this with tire irons, I don't recommend using it on rims you really care about. Like it's a drift car, so I do not really, I know these rims are gonna get messed up. But now with this new thing, this new attachment, you really don't have to worry about it as much. The uh, marring of the rims. I just haven't touched these up since I got this attachment. So don't mind the the scratches. With the aluminum cone, you can get it pretty, pretty tight. Kind of gonna just drop that down in the, in the bead. And then right here is my valve stem right to the left of the duck bill. And we'll get the duck bill tightened on. Okay. Make sure it slides well, and it does. I didn't even mention this, this tire machine is, I think it was $120 for the arm. This is like 50 bucks, the Har Harbor Freight unit. Lube up the tire, lube up the duck bill. Prop that up, start locking it. And when you get this up, pull this into the drop center. So what I need to do sometimes, put another tire iron, and you guys aren't really going to be able to see this, but put another tire iron above the tire so it doesn't, you know, walk off of there. time to check the bead is clean if it's not you might want to clean it up 
This is a 245, 45, 18. Make note of what's the outside of the tire. Normally you're gonna have a dot like that, that you kind of want to line up with the valve stem. Spray down your bead. And with this, I might be able to press the tire on completely by hand. Maybe not. No, no, that's not gonna work. So press on one side. past the past the duck bill so that the duck bills on top sometimes you can just push down by hand here other times you need a vise it depends on what size tire you're mounting so i'm going to try and just push it on doesn't look like it's gonna well maybe it is yep it's gonna go so now that's mounted. Really doesn't take that much longer than an actual machine. So this attachment has made changing tires like actually kind of fun. Gotta be careful with nice rims. I wouldn't use this on nice wheels. Like without the investment.
And there's that. I'm holding this side in the drop center so I can get enough room to get this over. And then uh, last time, I needed to stick like through this gap here created by the, the duck bill. Stick a tire iron right next to the other one. I might need to actually make another video for that, but do that, hold them down so they don't bounce off the rim, make any more scratches. And Find that yellow dot. That's the outside of the tire. Try to get lined up with the stem there. See if we can get away without using a clamp. And I'll see if I can pull it on this side. Keeping weight on the tire on this side. There it goes. Literally, it works the exact same way as a tire machine, so, I mean, it is a tire machine at this point. All right, so I guess in summary, um, yeah, this uh, attachment, definitely worth the money. 120 bucks, it's already paid for itself. So I did have to modify it a little bit. This was able to do up to a 22 inch rim. I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that. So I just cut it down for an 18 so I can, can uh, mount my tires. If you guys enjoyed the video, um, I will try to drop a link to that. Um, you know, I'm not affiliated with the dude or anything. It's just a really good product. Drift prep is one, one step closer for vibes. I've got, well, yeah, I've got six brand new wheels over here or a couple brand new tires. 
on wheels. And then I have more, uh, probably gonna bring two more sets. We'll see, I can fit four in my car and I'm gonna see if I can bring uh, four or six more. It's uh, gonna be three days of drifting. That's just, that's gonna be nuts. And I'm also driving, most likely street driving my car nine hours to drift for three days and then driving it nine hours back here. So I've always wanted to do like drift week or whatever. And I mean, this will kind of be like that. So I don't see why the car can't do it. It drove to every single event last year and it drove home after every single event. So far, so good. Don't want to jinx myself, but if shit happens, it happens. Um, and I, I'm not expecting it, but the car is pretty dialed and uh, I should be able to stay safe on track. That's really, that's the wild card is just what happens on track. I know the car can make it there. I know the car can make it back. It's just what happens while I'm out there. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, drop a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a nice night, day, wherever you are. Peace out.